Okay, so as you will have just seen, I've just had a very quick tidy up of the office. Obviously, we're in a situation where <laughs> we're right in the middle of renovations, so this is obviously not an ideal situation, and my filing is also not how it's gonna be. It's very much temporary, but I've had a couple of requests to do some sort of a paperwork video. So once this office is done, there is gonna be a big video all about organizing this new office so that's going to be great but until then i thought i would um just show you <laughs> how i'm going to sort this mess out uh and yeah give you a few tips so i'm just going to take all of this onto the dining room table because it's much bigger and then i'm just going to categorize everything and i'll probably do it on time lapse because it, otherwise it'll be a bit boring and then i will tell you how i'm going to sort it out after that Okay, so as you saw there, I was basically categorizing everything, but I was also decluttering at the same time. So anything that I knew that was obvious rubbish, I just got rid of. And then anything else I've just kind of put into piles to deal with. So all of this stuff is now, I know what it is and I know what I need to do with it. So I've got like client T's and C's over there, business receipts that I need to file other business stuff that I have to file and then this is kind of personal stuff like house renovation receipts that I just need to put into my spreadsheet. This is stuff that I literally need to deal with is business stuff, <laughs> other random personal filing, a couple of things that actually I probably just need to chuck. Business cards that I need to keep and Tesco things <laughs> that I need to sort out and then these things I also need to do something with. This is blank paper, this is just an empty phone case that I can probably get rid of. This is shredding. And this is recycling. All stuff that I was keeping that I didn't need, but I did need to check it, so that's good. So basically, when you're sorting out your paperwork, just sort it out into categories, and it makes it so much easier to deal with, and you can actually see what you're doing. So I am going to recycle that. I'm gonna go and shred this, and then I'm gonna file this. So I will grab the files. Obviously, the files that I'm using at the moment are temporary. I'm probably gonna change up the, the system when I actually have my office sorted okay so obviously ignore the dust on this <laughs> everywhere is dusty at the moment in this office so on a lot of machines you can actually shred cards which is really handy um this this shredder is actually really good it's only a small one and really unless you're a big unless you're a, well business or something and you've got a lot of stuff to shred you don't really need a massive one and even then actually if you keep up with your shredding you shouldn't need a huge one Another tip as well is, unless it is like the whole document like this that needs shredding, just rip off the bit that needs shredding and then you don't have to do as much because obviously shredders do tend to overheat and they get quite temperamental. But yeah, this one is very good. If I can actually find a link for this one, I will link it because I have used a lot of shredders in my life and a lot of them are terrible. Okay, so these files are actually really good if you don't have like a t an absolute ton of filing. And actually, they're almost better because quite often we keep way too much filing. Like literally, you just don't need the amount of <laughs> paperwork that people often keep. So yeah, I do recommend these. They're quite handy, kind of concertina files. And you can pick these up really cheaply if you're in the UK from places like B&M. I think these were literally like two pounds each or something. I'm just gonna file some of this stuff away, so. As you can see, filing has not been the top of my priority list for a little while with everything going on. So I'm gonna have to go and grab a couple of tabs to go in here to finish that. So they just come with these little bits of card and you just write, you write what it is on there and then you just slot them in to these tabs. Right, so that is business stuff. Oh no. This is fuel. 
Okay, so I always recommend to clients to use an in tray like this with two tiers. This is just a really cheap one from Ikea. But what I do is I have to action and to file. And that's what I suggest to all clients to basically keep their paperwork t like tidy. So yeah, this is not a full filing solution. It is a solution to keep everything tidy and then you would file everything away. So whether you use something like this, if you don't have a lot of filing or if you have a, a big filing cabinet or whatever you have, but this is just like a, a solution to deal with things so that they don't just get stuffed somewhere else. So I'm gonna relabel these because I actually had one business, one personal, but actually I need one to action and one to file now. So I just use my label maker. You don't have to have a label maker. Uh, you could just stick some labels on or a bit of paper. Actually, I'm gonna be a bit OCD. I need to change the size because yesterday when I was working at a client, we changed the size to be smaller and it, I don't like it. By the way, if you do want a label maker, this is 100% the best one. It's uh, the Dymo. I don't know if you can see that. It's very often out of stock because they're so great. Oh, I've just printed that twice. But it is very, very good. And the battery lasts for ages and I literally use them every single day. So yeah, it's very good. So just stick the labels there. Also, sorry, my washing machine is running running in the background. So sorry if you can hear that. Probably should have shut that door. Oops, a bit late now. So really simple. Oh, something just fell out of there. So to action and to file, and then just keep this wherever you open your post. So if you open it in the kitchen, keep it in the kitchen if you want. If you have an office, try and open your paperwork in the office and then do it there. I mean, obviously if you've got like a really easy filing system and it's to hand, then you might not need this. But if you are like most people who open their post when they're in a the rush and then they don't have time to deal with it and then it ends up being clutter, then these are a really good solution and this is what I recommend. So definitely one to think about. So I am going to put in here the things that I need to actually deal with, which is this pile of stuff. And these I'm gonna check now, but I'm gonna put them in there. All right, so these labels have come off, so I'm just sticking these back on. Okay, so another really good thing is to have these pouches for manuals. You can have like the different ones. You can have these labeled with however many different things you want. But I also keep like labels, laminator pouches and stuff like that in these. I do also have a couple of other bits for like Bo the dog, the baby, actually business receipts. I need to take that. Uh, and these things just because I've run out of room in the other bits of filing and then I just keep them in here But obviously this isn't very big and people tend to keep a lot of manuals So with clients, I mean you could use this But I mean I'm just using this because it was just what I've got and I didn't want to go out and buy a load of containers and storage when I knew that my office was being done because that would just be a waste of money because this isn't ultimately gonna be my filing situation. Ignore the background. So yes, instead of having something like this, you could have like an A4 container, either clear or, you know, whatever, just an open top box. And then you could have them all like this and then you can just go through them and you can easily see the label at top and you can just get it out. So whichever one you need, just get it out, unzip, and then you've got the manual. So these are great, a great way to keep manuals because I tend to find manuals all over people's houses and nobody knows how to store them. And then when you end up needing to actually see the manual, it's nowhere to be found. That being said, do check your manuals because honestly, you don't need them all. Like it's very rare that you can't find something online unless it's like a really, really old, old appliance that just isn't available online anymore. Then nine times out of ten you can find it online so act 
actually think about whether you need to keep a really bulky manual for something because often you don't need it anyway but everyone keeps them <laughs> so yeah but if you if you do want to keep your manuals to store them these are great a great way to store them and you can get these in a5 as well so like smaller these are a4 that is a way to store your manuals i'm so excited for the office to be done so that i can actually do like my forever <laughs> filing situation and show it to you and reorganize it's going to be a great vlog it will definitely be a vlog because i don't know if it will include the renovations or if that will be a separate one but yeah anyway we'll see i'll stop waffling now I need to sort this lot out that I have left to action. Mm -hmm.